Hey YouTube, uh, this is our tag boy. Um, I got a couple new comic books that I want to talk about today. I know I haven't posted a video in months, but I got New 52 Futures In Volume 1, or Issue 1, and I got Futures In Issue Number 2. Um, so first of all, I realize I am exactly a year late on the bandwagon. Um, I don't get to go to the comic book shop a lot, um, so when I did the other day, I saw um, the big trade paperback of Futures End, um, which I actually hadn't heard about, and I try to stay pretty updated on things like that, but I saw the trade paperback, went up to the guy at the counter, asked him what it was all about, because I see, you know, Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond, um, on the cover, I'm like, he's in the New 52 universe, so that kind of intrigued me a little bit, and I was talking to him, and he explained, Futures End leads up to um, this convergence. Not harmonic convergence, I know, you know, it's not Korra. Um, but it leads up to this um, event called Convergence that starts in April. And that's going to basically bring the old DC comic book characters back to the... Uh, it sounds like a mess from what I'm reading. I don't know. Um, all I know is that you got Batman Beyond. But... Here's the thing that kind of bothered me, um, and also, just so you know, um, anyone watching this who hasn't heard of Futures End or anything like that, um, don't start with issue one. There's actually an issue zero that was distributed in free comic book day. If you can't get your hands on a hard copy, go on Amazon.com and you can download it for free and read it there. Definitely start with the first one, um, or definitely start with issue zero before one, just because you kind of... And it's kind of cheating how they do zero issues nowadays, but basically it's a whole part of the story that you're missing. Um, I wasn't too lost, you know, reading. I have a pretty good knowledge of, you know, superheroes and things like that, so I could piece it together. But if you're a newer comic book fan, definitely start with issue zero. Um, and then Futures End might not be for you because you kind of have to know a little bit. These are some lesser known characters. Um, the main characters are Batman Beyond, Grifter, and then Firestorm. Um, so I really enjoy reading both of them, um, all of them, I guess. Um, my favorite was issue number two. Um, I'll just show you, spoiler alert, seriously, it is a spoiler though. Um, at the end of number one, bam, uh-oh, Green, Green Arrow is dead. Um, so, and don't freak out too much because... Uh, the Futures End storyline, it's five years into the future from the main DC continuity, from the 52 continuity. So it's kind of cheating because it's like, yeah, we're going to finally give you Terry in the, you know, mainstream DC universe, but wait, he can't even, he's not even, even interacting with, like, the current incarnations of the characters. So that kind of, you know, it was a little, um, made me a little sad face. What am I going to say? But it was still great to see it. Um, I'm not going to ruin the story for you too much. Just in a nutshell, there's this apocalypse that happens in the future. Batman, old Batman, sends Terry back in time to try and stop it. He shows up five years too late, and he's trying to basically get Vince in motion already, so he has to stop him. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed the two. Um, now I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just collect you know, a couple more individually see how I'm liking it right now, or just invest up $40 and get the whole trade paperback um, right in time for Convergence next year. Convergence sounds really difficult. I've been reading some things online. It's it's basically another crisis on infinite Earths, and we know how that one turned out. Um, so, the last real comic book overarching kind of story I read was Blackest Night, and that was awesome. But that was years ago. So, I kind of want to get back into something but I don't know. Um, I definitely want to follow Futures End. I just don't know whether you know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna go about buying it. Um, but I definitely say, um, you know, if you're interested in characters that don't get that much time, you know, Grifter, Batman Beyond, he does have a couple, you know, limited editions every every once in a while. But um, and definitely Firestorm. Firestorm is like a really I don't like the character. I don't like the the guy. I like the black kid, not because I'm black, but He's like the voice of reason, and the other dude is just like literally just wants to get laid, and that's why Green Arrow dies. <gasps> Spoiler, because this dude was getting laid. Um, I shouldn't say getting laid. This dude here, this is what he was doing. Wait, 
That's what he was doing. No, wait. There you go. He was making love. He was having uh, relations with a woman instead of helping his Justice League teammate. And that's why he died. So I feel like that's, you know, it's interesting. Because it's the two back and forth. It's cool. I like it. Um, I suggest you, you know, at least do some, you know, Googling. Figure out um, Future's End. Because um, it sounds like the storyline, it ends, like, leading straight into Convergence. So uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about Future's End. Let me know about what you think is going to happen in Convergence and just kind of your general thoughts on what DC is doing. Is this going to be a cluster bomb? Is this going to be awesome? I don't know. Um, I'm leaning towards the cluster bomb just because, you know, they don't have a great track record. But we'll see. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I haven't made video in so long. Uh, take it easy. Bye.